Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market today, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by 12 and a quarter points to 26.82 per contract. All in all, uh, you can see the futures had a pretty good pop yesterday. Markets really reversed uh, the downside action that we saw early yesterday morning and um, pretty robust rally into the close. But today we're giving a little bit back. This is not that big a deal considering the amount of volatility that we've been seeing as of late. This is kind of actually natural. So again, we'll see where we go today. We'll see how it plays out. But in the meantime, we have lots of stocks in the news and let's get started there. First stock we're going to take a look at is going to be Disney. Normally we'd be talking about this one a lot more, but um, again, it's only up $2 from its close. So Disney closed at 106.17. Now trading at 108.25. So Disney's up a little bit here. I don't know how high this can go today, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't really expect it to get much, much past the 111 level, but we'll see where it goes and we'll see how it plays out. Right now, Disney is up a little bit ahead of the opening bell. But again, this is on the back of earnings and um, we'll take it slow and steady, but I, I really just don't expect a whole lot of upside from where we are now. Next up, we want to take a look at Chipotle Mexican Grill. Ticker symbol is CMG. <clears throat> Stock right now is trading at 278. Just call it 277.50. Um, this is down from 304.33. So this is a pretty ugly haircut here. The stock does have a double bottom, I believe, back around the 263 level. So keep that on the radar. But again, I don't even love that level. I don't really love any of these levels on Chipotle Grill. I did some math on it before. I'm just not really trustworthy of it when it's testing these lows like this. So be careful. If by chance the stock did get down to around 217, which is a heck of a lot lower, then I think there could be a play there. But again, I'm not looking to do anything with Chipotle Grill right now. We'll sit tight. We'll look at it once the opening bell rings. Here we have Hasbro. Ticker symbol is HAS. Stock right now is trading at 88.50. Closed at 93.93. I'm going to have levels, I think, posted up in the intraday stock chat room for this one. There is a very nice gap fill on the um, weekly chart. It's very visible. I'm going to show it to you guys here right around this 82.50 level for Hasbro. So keep that on the radar. There could be a play there. Um, so watch that and we'll see how that plays out. But Hasbro today trading uh, down from 93.93 yesterday to 88.50 was even lower just a few minutes ago. Let's take a look here at Michael Kors. K-O-R-S is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $70.75. Closed yesterday at 65.44. So this is a very, very good move. I happen to think this is overbought now. Um, I know it has pulled back on the daily chart and it's getting a really nice bid. I just don't see a whole lot of upside here for Michael Kors. So if you own it, trail the stop loss immediately. If you don't own it, leave it alone for now. We'll take a look at it in the intraday stock chat room and we'll see how it plays out. Next up, we have Mike, uh, excuse me, we have Snapchat. SNAP <clears throat> is the ticker symbol there. Stock is catching a very good bid after earnings. Closed at 1406 yesterday. Now trading at 1712. I'm going to give this the upside bias to around 1780, maybe even $18. I don't see it getting a whole lot past $18. You could see even here when it went up, it, it went to around 1837 and then pulled back. So I think that's kind of, you know, a little line in the sand where this thing could go 18 and a quarter maybe. That's kind of the max upside that I would expect in this name right now looking at the current pattern so again great move for snapchat a little bit overbought for me but um we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings i think you also got a pop in twitter today on the back of snapchat so twitter closed at 25 and a quarter now trading at 25.96 so a nice little uptick there for twitter on the back of snapchat why did those two trade together you know, maybe because they're the two beaten down social media names. So we'll see how it plays out. But um, Twitter has been very, very strong lately. Let's take a look at Hain Celestial. H-A-I-N is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $35. Closed at $36.36. .36. There's not a whole lot to do here. The stock does have support around $27.50 if it trades down that low. And yes, in this kind of market, it can do it. So just be aware of that. And we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. There's not a lot I'm going to do with this one at the moment. Let's take a look at Akamai Technologies, AKAM. 
Stock closed at $63.67, now trading at 68 and a quarter. Good pop there, but again, Akamai is a little bit long in the tooth here. So if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, leave it alone at these levels. And we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. We'll see if some kind of pattern does form on the charts. Let's take a look at MCHP, which is microchip tech. Stock right now is trading at 86 bucks. I'm going to have a level for this in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings. And once again, we had another really, really good day yesterday. Great volatility out here. There's lots of action, both on the day trading side and the swing trading side. So if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. Uh, we've had a really, really great start to 2018. And again, um, these are the kind of markets that we really excel in. And get some volatility out here. You get some uh, crazy action. This is where we find institutional levels. This is where the methodology gets put to work. So again, if you haven't done so, come take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. Let's switch gears here a little bit. Gold is down again today, down $4.40. If you take a look at the GLD, you'll see that's trading at 125.50, basically right where it closed yesterday. So most of the gold move is already factored in from yesterday after hours. Remember, gold closes on the gold spot, uh, closes at 130 on the COMEX. Next up, we have crude oil down 29 cents today to $63.10. If you take a look at the USO, you'll see that is trading at 1266. The USO is a very good ETF to track oil movement. So we'll see how that plays out. And again, um, We'll see what this market gives us. Futures right now down <clears throat> about $12 on the charts here.